With May already coming to an end, we are now looking into June sneaker releases. In today's video, we're going to cover all the sneaker releases, which includes the retail, the resale, what you should go for, and hopefully, let's make some money in June. Before we do get into it, if you want to join Kai Kicks Apprentice, a group that I run where we teach you everything you need to know about sneaker reselling, it will be top link down in the description below. We have all five star reviews, sneaker botting, sneaker releases, shock drops, monitors, everything you need all compact into one group. And our feedback speaks for itself. Let's delve into these sneaker releases. So we're actually going to start on the 31st of May and that's because the start of the Yeezys are happening. We currently have the Yeezy 350 Onyx and the Yeezy 350 Carbon Beluga raffles live on Adidas confirmed. This is the start of all the upcoming Yeezy releases and if you do not know, Adidas is releasing all of their remaining stock of Yeezys which is calculated up to 1.3 billion. This is just the start so I can expect between the 31st of May and the 7th of June there'll be a week's worth of loads of different Yeezy releases. Now this is the biggest sneak releases for this month because there is loads dropping. Some ones to look out for are Foam Runner Flaxes, Yeezy Slide Onyxes, Yeezy 350 Reflective Statics, Yeezy 50 Pirate Blacks, Yeezy Slide MX Rock, Yeezy Slide MX Tan. There is lots of profit to be made within these sneaker releases and we're actually running raffle bot slots within the group where we will sneak a bot for you at no extra initial cost. And what's even better, Kai Kicks Apprentice, the group I run, a seven day free trial down below. So definitely keep an eye out for all of the upcoming sneak releases because that's where a lot of the money is going to be this month and it will also be quite good. But we do also have some other sneaker releases. On the first, we potentially have the SB Dunk one block at a time releasing. And if this does release, you can expect a very, very good profit to be made. However, unfortunately, there hasn't been many details about the sneaker, which could lead to it being delayed because we haven't really heard much. Or we might see skate stores get these as it's an SB and maybe the sneakers release will be delayed for the next couple weeks. Definitely look out for that release because this is a beautiful looking colorway. However, we just don't know if it's dropping yet. On the sixth, retailing for £120, we have the GS Jordan 3 Hide and Seeks releasing. Now it is actually confirmed only GS sizes will be released of the sneaker, which is quite weird in the first place. However, unfortunately, I do not see much money to be made in the sneaker, brick flip at best. If you look at similar releases like the Jordan 3 White Cement Suggest that released, there wasn't really any profit to be made. And Jordan 3 is kind of on the rise. However, it's not quite there, especially for the UK market. So with it being GS, unless you want a personal, unless you want to get your girlfriend a pair, I would not go for these. On the 10th we have a beautiful looking sneaker and this is the Jordan 1 Heritage. We had the turbo greens, we had the washed pinks, and now we have the Heritage which is like a blacky grey colorway and I think this is a really really clean Jordan 1. I think it's the suede, the materials they use for this sneaker, makes it a really wearable sneaker in my opinion. Unfortunately with it being Nike and sneakers they love to mass produce these Jordan 1s which will probably kill the resale value. These will probably sit in stock in some retailers however look for any discount codes that you can get because then you can make some profit. This is something called brick flipping which basically allows you to make a smaller profit margin on in stock items. So for example this sneaker if it does sit in stock however some sites will allow student discount or so on these different promo codes can get you 10-20% off then you can sell the shoe at retail. So you can make upwards of £30 on an in stock item and that is a feature that we do provide within Kai Kicks Apprentice. Great looking colorway however I've got to say it's personal at best. No profit to be made in this sneaker. Now Yeezys is the big tool of this month and this is actually massive for the sneaker community. With there being over 20 different sneak releases I'll be prioritizing all of my time into making accounts into entering these raffles and being prepared for anything that Adidas confirmed brings to us. Now it is very very likely that most of these sneak releases will be through raffles on the Adidas confirmed app however there also is a different release that sometimes Adidas confirmed like to do. This is called an Adidas splash page which is essentially a first come first serve but for Adidas so you're put into the the queue and then you'll be allowed into the queue every so often some will be allowed in quicker than others and then you'll be able to purchase the sneaker so last easy day we saw the wave runners have a first come first serve drop and to be fair there was a chance manually okay there was some manual checkouts however the majority went to sneaker bots and let's just say sneaker bots ate up the splash page there were people with hundreds of checkouts of these wave runners when they did the splash page if you're looking for an alias confirmed bot that's going to enter the raffles for you i'd look into bots like Neo, bots like Novum, Novum is the one I personally use. However, if you don't want to invest the money, join our seven day free trial and we will do the botting for you, making the account and entering for you at no initial fee. And if you're looking for a first come first serve bot, again, these can be quite expensive to run and you do need prior knowledge to learn them. You can't really just pick up a bot and learn it within 30 minutes. However, some bots that did do well last time was Ganesh, I think Soleo did well. We also had some other bots pop up, I think Kodai did all right and actually you sneakers with 
that their Chrome browsers actually did okay within the queue. But to my knowledge, I remember Ganesh and Soul AIO performing the best if you're looking for a splash page. But I expect there to be high stock in a lot of the releases and probably like the 350s and so on, which are lower profit margins. I expect their filters to be a lot lower. Now, Adidas has all the power in their hands because they've already proven to people that they can stop bots if they want to stop bots. And we saw this exactly on the Yeezy day. When it came to 350s, which are lower profit margins, a lot of bots were able to get checkouts. However, when it came to foam rollers and slides, it was a whole different story. What we saw happen then is Adidas changed a couple things and basically their filters was not allowing many botters to check out. Obviously, there's going to be always some botters, but manual was the way to go for the hype releases. I see the exact same happening for this release. I'll be very honest with you guys. I can see the 350s being quite easy to get, being able to get multiple pairs through botting and so on. And then I see the foam runners and the slides, the pirate blacks, for example. I expect these to be a lot tougher and in my opinion, we'll see a lot more manual checkouts. So do everything you possibly can, guys, to get your hands on these sneakers because it is going to be a very, very profitable month for sneakers and do anything you can for these Yeezy releases. Now, if you want to learn everything you need to know about sneak reselling, get live updates, how to start buying all the support you need, all the sneak releases, brick flips, monitors, one-on-one -on -one support, everything you need, you can claim our seven-day free trial down in the description where you can cancel at any time and we hardly do seven-day free trials, so capitalize while you can. Thank you for listening to me. Please do subscribe to the channel because we are on the way to 10,000 subscribers. And if you want more information about these Yeezy releases, I have made a previous video if you guys want to check it out. Good luck in the releases and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.